good afternoon dear friends we have discussed about the tiger in the house so let me recap what we have discussed in the previous session we have studied that timothy is the name of the tiger cub owned by grandfather during the during hunting expedition at in the terai jungle at dehra this tiger cub was named as timothy by grandmother and you also have we have also discussed about who are the two companions of timothy toto is a monkey and a mongrel puppy right and we have also seen that timothy is growing bigger and bigger so there is a problem for other animals for children or for the society because it is not good to keep a tiger in house all right so the title of the lesson is the tiger in the house because we do, we see the tiger in jungle am i right my children friends so one day what happens this timothy is staying in the cook's room what is the name of the cook mahmud and he is so playful with mahmud that or other animals that he is always stalking them he is chasing them and the grandmother one day declared in the last session we have studied that we are going to find timothy sitting on mahmud's bed and no sign of the cook except his clothes and shoes what does this mean that one day timothy will be found in mahmud's room but mahmud will not be found because timothy may kill him and eat him up <clears throat> of course it never came to that but when timothy was about 6 months old a change came over him he grew steadily and less friendly when out for a walk with me he would try to steal away or stalk a cat or someone's pet pekins children actually this never happened that timothy ever attacked mahmud but there was a change in timothy's behavior he started snarling at the people the pet animals like pekins pet dogs sometimes at night we would hear frenzied cackling from the poultry house sometimes during night ruskin bond is a author of this story am i right so what do this small boy hear sometimes that poultry poultry means hens you know poultry house there are cackling sound cackling means eating you know frenzied hmm? or making noise and in the morning there would be feathers lying all over the veranda timothy had to be chained up more often next morning what would be seen there author and his grandparents would find the feathers of hen because who had eaten them up timothy had eaten them up and friends when timothy started eating the pet animals it is very possible that he may attack the children also because he is a tiger and he is now 6 months old children tiger grow very fast within 6 months they can go grow to their full height and finally when he began to stalk mahmud about the house with what looked like villainous intent grandfather decided it was time to transfer him to zoo friends Uh, after some days uh, as the tiger was growing bigger and bigger his his actions were changing his behavior started changing he started looking at mohammed the cook with a villainous intent villainous means very bad intention like as if he wants to kill him as if he wants to attack him grandfather decided that it is a right time that we should transfer him to zoo zoo means you know that where the wild animals are kept the nearest zoo was at lucknow 200 miles away now where is timothy going to be shifted now at lucknow there is a zoo 
वन माइल इज इक्वल टू वन पॉइंट फाइव अप्रॉक्स वन पॉइंट फाइव किलोमीटर्स सो टू टू हंड्रेड किलोमीटर्स मीन्स प्रोबेबली थ्री टू हंड्रेड माइल्स मीन्स थ्री हंड्रेड फिफ्टी किलोमीटर्स इज इंट इट रिजर्विंग अ फर्स्ट क्लास कंपार्टमेंट फॉर हिमसेल एंड टिमोथी नो वन वुड शेयर अ कंपार्टमेंट विद दैम फ्रेंड्स नाउ द टाइगर इज टू बी टेकन टू द जू सो हाउ ही इज टेकन टू द जू ही इज टेकन through a train railway compartment and nobody is going to share their compartment grandfather took him to lucknow where the zoo authorities were only too glad to receive as a gift a well fed and fairly civilized tiger when grandfather went to the zoo what was the reaction of the people or of the zoo authorities they were extremely happy to get that very well fed means a strong tiger you know and a fairly civilized tiger civilized means uh, a good tiger whose behavior is not harmful civilized means you talk about the people that a particular person is civilized it means that the person has good culture <coughs> friends because tigers are generally very harmful they are wild and this one i mean timothy is very civilized tiger so why why do you think the zoo people were happy because they don't their trouble will be less if that the more the tiger is wild the trouble for the employees will be more so timothy is now put in the zoo grandfather went back home about 6 months later when my grandparents were visiting relatives in lucknow grandfather took the opportunity of calling at the zoo to see how timothy was getting on after 6 months 6 months time passed do you think grandfather would forget timothy no even timothy timothy also will not forget grandfather animals don't forget the humans hell they are very faithful my dear friends after 6 months grandfather was luckily he was going to lucknow to meet some relatives right so he thought that why shouldn't i go to the zoo and meet my timothy so he called the zoo people and informed that tomorrow i am going to meet timothy right i was not there to accompany him but i heard all about it when he returned to dehra i am who is this author raskin bond small boy he did not go with the grandparents but he heard all from his grandfather what happened there at the zoo children the next story is the really a turning point or you can say very very important part of the story let us see what happens whether grandfather meets timothy or what happens that you will see arriving at the zoo grandfather made straight for the particular cage in which timothy had been interned when grandfather reached the zoo he directly made his way to the towards a particular cage in which timothy was locked or timothy was put in the cage interned means put in the cage right means when he first time when he brought timothy he remembers that he, in which cage he was put but he doesn't know that the zoo keepers may change the animal also grandfather doesn't know that so the next part i told you that is very interesting because you will come to know that whether grandfather meets timothy or other tiger because all tigers look same so for grandfather it would be very difficult to identify timothy but timothy will identify grandfather easily if he is really a timothy the tiger was there crouched in a corner full grown and with a magnificent striped coat how was the tiger the tiger was crouching there crouching means he was sitting close to the ground like you see that when the animal is going to attack someone how they are sitting on the ground taking legs together yes like cat also you must have seen he was sitting there in the corner full grown and with a magnificent striped coat magnificent is very beautiful coat 
His coat means what do you mean by the striped coat? His his stripes on his body, his skin is compared to a coat. He's looking very beautiful because after six months, the tiger is grown full to its full size. Isn't it? The tiger approached the bar and allowed grandfather to put both hands around his head. Children, grandfather doesn't know that what tiger he is meeting, whether Timothy or any other tiger from jungle. But luckily that tiger allowed grandfather to put his hands around his neck. Children, you won't believe that this tiger is very dangerous tiger and he is not Timothy. Right? He is not Timothy. But grandfather doesn't know this. Grandfather stroked the tiger's forehead and tickled his ear. What did grandfather do after going there? It was his daily routine when he was handling Timothy. He touched the tiger's forehead. Forehead means this part, right? Forehead, you know that. Above your eyes, forehead. And he tickled his ear. Tickling the ear means just touching the ear. And he stroked, stroked means he touched very lovingly, very gently his forehead and he tickled his ear and whenever he growled, the tiger was growling, you know that because this tiger is very dangerous animal, this is actually from a jungle, he is not Timothy. This tiger started growling, growling means making big noise, smacked him across the mouth. Grandfather, what grandfather did? Grandfather simply hit him on his face on his mouth, which was his old way of keeping him quiet. Children, grandfather has not forgotten. He used to keep Timothy quiet by hitting him gently on his face. This is the way. Children, I tell you that once you know to handle one type of animal, you will be able to handle the same type of animal also. Like you are familiar with cats. So you can handle other cats also, but depends on the nature of the cat also. Because some cats may attack you also. The same way the tiger may also attack you. But luckily this tiger has not attacked grandfather because grandfather has learned the skill of controlling the tigers, you can say. Grandfather has acquired the knowledge of how to control a wild tiger. Right? Next paradigm. He licked grandfather's hands and only sprang away when a leopard in the next cage snarled at him. This tiger started licking grandfather's hand. You know that licking means uh, licking with the tongue. He started licking the grandfather's hand and he sprang. Sprang is the past tense of spring. Hmm? What did he do? He sprang away. What do you mean by sprang away? He Sprang away. Spring means jump. Hmm? He jumped away when a leopard in the next cage snarled at him. See, there is other cage also, another cage also is there. Zoo means there will be different animals. Hmm? So, on, in, a, in, in the next cage there is a leopard and that leopard snarled at this tiger. So, the tiger jumped back. Grandfather shooed the leopard away and the tiger returned to lick his hands. Friends, grandfather is very friendly, you know, with Timothy. He does not like that other animals troubled his Timothy. So what he did, actually he doesn't know that the tiger is not a Timothy. Isn't it? So he shooed the leopard away. Shooed away means he, he just made gestures that the leopard kept quiet. And again the tiger returned to lick his hands. But every now and then the leopard would rush at the bars and the tiger would slink back to his corner. It started happening again and again that the leopard was snarling at the tiger and the tiger was running back, leaving Timothy's, uh, leaving grandfather's hand. A number of people had gathered to watch the reunion when a keeper pushed his way through the crowd and asked grandfather what he was doing 
actually what happened meanwhile all the people who were watching this whole drama between the tiger and grandfather because people were not knowing about anything right and they were watching that old man is standing near the cage of the tiger and the tiger is licking his hand because you generally don't see this isn't it because tiger is very wild animal right it does not allow you to put your hands in he may attack you meanwhile the keeper of the zoo came and he asked grandfather what are you doing then grandfather replied i am talking to timothy said grandfather weren't you here when i gave him to the zoo 6 months ago grandfather told him can't you see that i am talking to my timothy my tiger and don't you know that when i gave this tiger to the zoo 6 months before were you not there friends this zoo keeper is a maybe a new zoo keeper you know because this people will keep changing also sometimes right i haven't been here very long said the surprised keeper the keeper said no no i i, I was not there that time he said please continue your conversation but i have never been able to touch him myself he is always very bad tempered see what the zoo keeper told to grandfather so if you people told him that you continue your conversation but one thing i tell you i never touch this tiger because he is very bad tempered he is very ill tempered he is very wild animal very furious animal children i told you that this is not timothy isn't it but grandfather is not knowing anything about what he is doing he thinks that he is touching his timothy Six months before he sent the tiger to the zoo, he gave the tiger to the zoo, but he doesn't know that where his tiger is, right? Why don't you put him somewhere else? Suggested grandfather. That leopard keeps frightening him. I'll go and see the superintendent about it. What grandfather told? Why don't you keep my tiger away from this foolish? stupid leopard because this leopard will always trouble my tiger or my timothy otherwise i will go to the superintendent and i will complain about it superintendent means the main officer of the zoo main in charge of the zoo am i right children so grandfather went in search of the superintendent of the zoo but found that he had gone home early grandfather went to his office and he came to know that the superintendent had already left for home he has gone home early today and so after wandering about the zoo for a little while he returned to timothy's cage to say goodbye it was beginning to get dark grandfather met timothy for some time right and it was now good to leave good to go because it was going getting dark it was evening time maybe 6 6:30 right or 7 o'clock so he wanted to go back so he went to timothy's cage to say him goodbye last time he had been stroking and slapping timothy for about 5 minutes when he found another keeper observing him with some alarm when grandfather was uh, you know busy stroking means touching him gently or you can say slapping on his face you know slapping like how with love right and at that time grandfather noticed that there is another zoo keeper who is observing grandfather with some alarm with some precaution with some doubt and grandfather immediately recognized him my dear friend as the keeper who had been there when timothy had first come to the zoo thanks god grandfather at least found one person who was there when timothy was brought to the zoo see what happens now it's a turning point grandfather went to the zoo keeper whom grandfather have already seen he asked him what he asked him you remember me said grandfather now why don't you transfer timothy to another cage away from this stupid leopard grandfather went to straight to the zoo keeper 
another zoo keeper i mean and he requested him you see this leopard is stupid leopard is troubling my timothy my poor timothy why don't you keep him away but sir stammered the keeper stammered means you are halting when you are speaking you are taking pause for example sir you can see when you are shocked when you are surprised it is not your tiger what did the zoo keeper tell him it is not your tiger children just try to understand this tiger is not timothy because in zoo you will find different types of tigers and all are looking the same i know i know said grandfather testily testily means impatiently he said yes i know that this tiger is not mine actually the zoo keeper wanted to tell the grandfather that this is not your tiger and grandfather took in a different way what grandfather thought i know this is not my tiger because i have given it to you this tiger belongs to the zoo i realized he is no longer mine but you might at least take a suggestion or two from me grandfather tried to tell him that i know that this tiger is not mine because it is your property now but at least you can take one or two suggestions from me there is no harm there, there is no bad in taking suggestions from people like me children see what does the zoo keeper tell him i remember your tiger very well said the keeper he died two months ago died exclaimed grandfather my god what is your reaction my dear friends i hope you are very sad right even i am sad when i am reading this children just imagine what happened to grandfather when he heard the word died do you think grandfather will believe him i don't think grandfather will believe him the zoo keeper told him that sir i know that i know your tiger very well i remember your tiger very well he died 2 months ago and grandfather was shocked he asked him died he wanted to say are you mad actually he wanted to say like that yes sir of pneumonia pneumonia is a disease you know that it's a fatal disease fatal means causing death pneumonia people also die or even animals die because of pneumonia due to cold right this tiger was trapped in the hills only last month and he is very dangerous see what information is given by the keeper the keeper told the grandfather that the tiger means this tiger that he is touching this is not timothy because it is just brought one month before from one of the hills and he is very dangerous so how the tiger allowed grandfather to touch because first guard told that he never touched him this is very important children grandfather could think of nothing to say the tiger was still licking his arm with increasing relish grandfather did not say anything because i told you that grandfather will not believe in such stories grandfather knew that this is his timothy because uh, other tiger will not lick him but grandfather didn't know that because of his skill because of his techniques only the tiger allowed him otherwise the tiger would have attacked other person grandfather took what seemed to him an age to withdraw his hand from the cage what do you mean by this line it was very difficult for grandfather to leave the tiger it took an age means it took lot of time for him to relieve his hand because grandfather did not want to leave the tiger but anyway it was too dark so he wanted to go back so he left the cage with his face near the tigers he mumbled he mumbled means he whispered he said in low voice what he said good night timothy and giving the keeper a scornful look walked briskly out of the zoo he gave a look of disrespect and briskly means slowly he started walking from there do you think grandfather is very sad on hearing the death of his timothy no my dear friends he rather looked very angrily at the zoo keeper because he thought that this zoo keeper is a liar he is a mad person he is a foolish person because he sees that my timothy is with me and he still says that my timothy is dead children but i tell you that timothy is really dead the zoo keeper is absolutely right 
but who will tell grandfather grandfather will not accept it then you then the question will be in your mind that sir how the tiger allowed the grandfather to lick his hand that is what i am telling you i told you in the beginning also once you got the skill of handling one type of animal i am sure you will be able to handle another type of animal so maybe the grandfather was expert in handling tigers so this tiger also got that friendly touch and he allowed him but it was very risky for grandfather who knows that if grandfather if the tiger would have attacked him so sometimes you know what you learn from the story one thing you must learn that over confidence is always dangerous also right and one more thing uh, children keep in mind that if you love animals they will love you unconditionally so do not harm animals that is the message i want to give you through this story love the animals help them in difficulties try to save them if possible do not kill them do not harm them then i'm sure these animals will give you lot of love right uh, this is all about the story i hope you enjoyed the story of timothy and grandfather right their relationship and this story is told to ruskin bond by grandfather ruskin bond is a small boy okay this is all about the story the tiger in the house you attempt the question answers from the textbook in your copy books and learn the new words make sentences using the new words that minimum select minimum 5 words from your textbook which are new for you use them in your sentence and send it on the group that is the homework let me see how many of you are able to do the homework okay now i'll take your leave thank you and have a good day bye